On Monday, much of the country was treated to a solar eclipse. It was a rare moment of wonder in this bleak cultural landscape, and there's no way we were going to appreciate it. Giving us an eclipse is like giving a Fabergé egg to a toddler. But lots of people traveled to get a better view. Some airlines even offered special flights to chase the eclipse path across the country. I just hope passengers didn't lean too hard on the windows. But eclipse tourism didn't stop there. These guys popped up from Mexico to watch the eclipse with Border Patrol. In a year, they're going to see something else blot out the sun. Before the eclipse, animal experts warned that wild animals and pets would start behaving strangely. And it happened. I even saw a video of a bear wearing a hat and healing a family with the power of kindness. Wild times. They warned that most animals would be confused by the darkness and start their nighttime routines. Which, if it's anything like mine, means they listened to an episode of the Dragnet radio show and fell asleep on the couch. <laughs> But this eclipse happened during an election year, so that's what it became about. You probably saw this video Trump posted of his head blocking out the sun. Eat your heart out, Kubrick. But the late night host thought it was in poor taste. Of course, Donald Trump had to make the eclipse all about himself. Really, if anyone made this eclipse about Trump, it was these doofs. Kimmel played the Trump video on his show, and it got bigger laughs and applause than any of Kimmel's jokes. <laughs> Yes, we will, we will save America. We will save America. <laughs> Stop clapping. You're embarrassing me. These guys act like Trump's posts are irrelevant and dumb, but every time he posts, they cover it in detail. Really, they're just stealing his material. They're like Carlos Mencia if he lost weight and cried more. They pretend not to understand that he's being funny. Colbert called it a bizarre ad that was made by one of his fans. I guess he doesn't understand jokes that aren't written by the CDC. How's everybody feeling tonight? <laughs> That is because you are vaccinated. Trump is making funny viral videos, and Colbert's writers are all on blind dates with James O'Keefe. But they have to play dumb to make him sound dangerous. As a wise man once said, Trump oftentimes is doing self-parody, self and uh, nothing looks dumber than if you parody self-parody. Or maybe their inability to get a joke is just a side effect of something. The vaccine! Remember that picture of Trump looking at the eclipse seven years ago? This week, Kimmel put that picture in his YouTube thumbnail, Hillary Clinton tweeted the picture, and MSNBC wrote a whole article about it. But we like that picture. We think it's funny. Not in the same way that Biden is funny. The beer brewed here, <laughs> it is used to make the brew beer <laughs> in this final. Oh, Earth Rider, thanks for the Great Lake. Biden also made his own eclipse video. Folks, enjoy the eclipse, but play it safe. Don't be silly. When he heard there was a big event involving the sun, he thought someone found another laptop. Sorry, no more wordplay jokes. But surely that's all the ways you can politicize an eclipse, right? Well, the media predicted that this eclipse would mean a $6 billion economic boom, as opposed to the 2017 eclipse, which they predicted would cost America almost $700 million in lost productivity. Sounds like Biden has some real power in his corner. I knew there were some voting irregularities, but I didn't know he sent a mail-in ballot to the sun. But that wasn't the only rare natural event this week. A 4.8 magnitude earthquake that struck at 10 23 this morning in White House Station, New Jersey. Either that or Chris Christie slipped in the shower. Footage later surfaced of the Statue of Liberty during the earthquake. Sure, it looks like an earthquake, but does anybody know what George Bush has been up to lately? Let's get this hashtag trending. And if you thought that was all in Wade Show Nature News, this week Italian volcano Mount Etna puffed smoke rings into the sky. Okay, volcano, we get it. You're cooler than me. Next, we'll get a video of the Easter Island heads beatboxing. It's been a week full of nature's mood swings. But what's with all of this happening in one week? The View's Sunny Hostin has a theory. You know, either climate change exists, that's more or something point. is really going on. Return. Now, maybe she's right, and your exhaust fumes pushed the moon in front of the sun, and made tectonic plates move, and caused a volcano to do a party trick. Or maybe this is God's way of warning us that something even more horrible is coming. My brand new album <laughs> comes out April 19th. Oh no, I don't mean the album, I just mean whatever the editors of TGC are cooking up in response. Now my Hamilton experience is just a small glimpse into what makes Christian discipleship so wonderful. <laughs> 